Well, it's actually, it's interesting. The point you made is that um, it's not just like the principal leading PD. And I think that's a really important point. And uh, when I was a, an administrator, we actually had uh, identified um, four areas that we had to work on, right? And it was based on uh, the school district plan, uh, some of the stuff that we looked at for our own school. And I didn't decide that as a principal. I actually asked my staff, like, hey, this is, I went through all the information and here's um, what I found. And I did this for you, but I want feedback on it. So like, this doesn't mean that we're not doing like, like it doesn't mean that we're doing this. I wanted to kind of go and here's why I said these things. I actually listed three. I can't remember what they were. And the staff said, well, we should also work on this fourth thing. I said, okay, if that's what you want to do. Right. And so what's interesting is the way we did our professional learning, we had the staff. So I said, okay, tell me like what area you're super passionate about. Like which of these four are you most passionate about? And they basically designated themselves like I'm really into this I'm really into this I'm really into this and then the, those groupings led the professional learning for our district and it was really powerful because not only did they decide like what type of learning that we were doing they measured they gave me the measures for the effectiveness to say like okay hey, how do we know that this has been beneficial because if you're the lead on it and you're telling me this important you understand the stuff inside out then you should also be able to tell me how we know we're successful. I don't want to say like, Hey, you're the lead, but I'm going to decide the measures, right? You're the lead. You should decide the measures. And what's interesting is not only one of the things I'm really adamant about is I don't like, I hate when educators say you can't be a prophet in your own land. It's one of my most hated statements. <laughs> And it's probably actually, to be honest with you, it's one of the reasons why I'm jealous that you spoke in Edmonton and I haven't, because I've got to speak a lot of other places, right? Because I was like, why don't, you know, why went they ask? I'm right here. And I'm not saying, that, I mean, you obviously talk about things that are different than me, but what, what, so not only did, not only did I save a ton of money in professional learning, because we just basically did it all in house, but it was meant that people would see other staff members as experts in the, in the school. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. And that was really powerful to me. And I, like, I know it's weird because you and I both offer professional learning. We, we work with districts and I'm not against outsiders coming in. I actually think it's really valuable to bring different perspectives into schools that might not be norm the norm, but I think it's as important, if not more so that you develop leadership in your own, on your own staff. I, what, like, what do you, like we you were kind of like, say, yeah, like, what do you think of that? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Was I no, off? Of all, you, you like gave the perfect example. We talk about this in the book because when we were developing, you know, we didn't write the book because we had the answers. We wrote the book because we wanted the answers. So right. we're doing these deep dives and this critical thinking about like, what should this look like? And so, you know, where we landed is, well, we need to have this collective cycle of inquiry, mm -hmm. right? You identify what that is. You already did that. And then you say, okay, well, now how are we going to personalize this? How are we going to get to the stuff that's going to be the most impactful for me? Because one thing, and I'm sure you've been asked to do this countless times as have I, is to go and do the one size fits all, mm -hmm. sit and get, um, you know, drive by. And I don't, and I hate to sound disparaging to that. Mm -hmm. I do think there's value in bringing people in. I think it's a great way to kick off a cycle of inquiry. I think there's a lot of value in getting outside perspective. But what we know, and the research is very clear, there is no ambiguity, is if it isn't job embedded, if it isn't ongoing, mm -hmm. it's not going to make it into our practice. Right. That's, we just know that. So, so the fact that you are building that capacity and you're, you're empowering your teachers as leaders, that makes all the difference. 